Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I want to give all of you a warm welcome to the first of, I hope so, many webinars that we are going to organize with you. Uh, the whole purpose of this webinar is to show you new and exciting products that we are launching and the solutions that we have been developing recently. Uh, Parker team has been working really hard on a recent development of a new and exciting feature, which I think is going to be very interesting for you guys. Uh, this feature is dedicated and related to our part of your smart barrier. Uh, it's up to me and to my colleague Josip uh, to tell you a little bit more about this particular uh, solution that we are offering. Uh, as a sales manager myself, I'm going to tell, tell you a little bit more about it from my perspective. And my colleague Josip, who is our lead engineer, he is going to get into more technical details, details uh, and also he's going to provide you with a live demonstration of the product. It's, uh, the purpose of this is for you guys to have a whole picture and a really clear picture about the product that we are launching so that you can uh, understand the solution even better. Uh, as I'm sure you have seen on the, on the invitation itself, uh, the, this new and exciting feature that we are launching is something that we call IO Board. Uh, this is a specially designed accessory for our partner smart parking barrier, the AC model. Uh, the main highlight or advantage of uh, this particular accessory is that it enables much easier integration into some kind of pre-existing system. Uh, in this way, it opens a lot more potential to the new markets that maybe you haven't ventured in yet. And we are really, really excited uh, to show it to you and uh, to provide you with a comprehensive uh, overview of its features, uh, of the benefits and the real-world uh, applications. Uh, in order to provide you with a deeper insight into this particular product, uh, I will now hand over the microphone to my colleague uh, Josip, uh, who he is going to guide you through the technical specifications of uh, this particular product, uh, offer you a detailed explication, and uh, provide you with a live demonstration. So you can go ahead. Right. Thank you, Mirella, and uh, welcome to everybody. So the new, the new thing we developed is called the IO board. So basically what the IO board en enables you is, like Mirala said, integration with other systems that is much easier than the gateways. Uh, it's, it's, it's a wired connection, it's not wireless like the gateway. So you, you run a wire from the control, whatever controller you have to the barrier and then uh, plug it into the IO, the IO board and you can control the barrier with those, those signals. So this, in the in the current stage, the IO board is only available as a separate order, so it can be ret it can't be retrofitted into current existing barriers. So when you need an IO board, you you need to tell us you know, in advance so you need barriers with the IO board, and then we make the, spe the special uh, special barriers for you. You'll see later why. Like I'll show the li the live images and the demo of the barriers, so I, I can explain you where the where the IO board goes and everything. Uh, the, the other thing is that uh, the, when using the IO board, it, uh, it requires the, uh, the barrier to be on constant power supply, so batteries are not an option. You need to run a wire and have the AC model of the part of your barrier. And uh, like, like the standard model barrier, you can uh, control it with the phone and the gateways uh, in, parallel, in parallel to the IO board. So you can have the IO board con controlled by, uh, let's say, on uh, other computer or an EV charging station or just have a button or something controlling the barrier uh, like a button press lowering the barrier down or, and overriding it but in the same time you can also use your phone to control it like with the Parker Connect application and of course you can use the PMS and, and the gateway to control the barrier. So we can switch, uh, switch to the other, other camera view so I can show you a small demo of uh, how it looks and uh, how it works. So the IO board comes in a separate box, which is uh, which is uh, in place of the bat battery pack, and it's connected to the main main like electronics board uh, in the same way like the battery is connected. The only difference is the the, uh, the IO board uh, uh, box has two inputs. One is used for the control signals, so that's something new. The control signals that are hooked up to the uh, to the con other control board or the, or the host. And uh, of course, like with the AC power supply model, you, have, you need to have AC in. So both of these cables should go 
like in the AC model through this hole uh, that is underneath the battery box by standard. I know I I currently have it for the demo purpose. I have one cable like uh, the cable running for to a uh, separate box for demonstration. So the installation process is as follows. So you get get those cables to the barrier, install the barrier as normally, and then you hook up. The, there is a little connector in the I/O board that you hook up. The an electrician should hook up the the wires, so you hook up the power supply and the and the signal cables as needed. So uh, there are the signal cable that we we uh, recommend to use is a standard Ethernet cable or a Cat5 cable or something like that, and uh, that is also stated in the technical sheet and the user manual of the I/O board, which Mirella will provide to you later after after the call. Um, this the IO board itself itself looks something like this. I, I don't know if it's focusing right now. You know, much more than you have a like a view. Just a I don't know how good it's focusing focusing, but yeah, it looks like it's a it has a it has a screw connector when you can where you can plug in plug in the power supply and the signals. So the it's very similar to our. Uh, to our other products, uh, the gate, the chain, and everything, it has uh, like uh, it has uh, an open input and a close input, and it also has uh, two outputs uh, that signalize is the barrier lowered or is the barrier raised. Those two those two outputs, which are uh, uh, normally open relay outputs, can also be programmed in a way to show that the barrier uh, the barrier has, a, for example, a vehicle on top. Or just to show open and close, it's uh, configurable. The, all the po all possible conf configurations are listed in the technical sheet, so you can view it from there. But today I have it um, just to show it if the barrier is open or lowered. The, on the I/O board, there are a few li there are little jumpers which you can uh, set up, yeah, which you, you which you can set up to show to toggle those uh, informations available. So basically, I here here I have a demo, uh, something I have a big, big red button connected to the barrier, so it's connected to the I/O board. This button could be your some sort of your controller. It could be a button. Uh, if a client wants a button to lower the barrier, uh, barrier for let's say, you can uh, you can hook it up with him, or or if it wants if he wants to close it, or if uh, like it's uh, this can represent a separate computer or a separate module inside an um, let's say EV charging station that has signal outputs. And on a press, like if I close the cap, if I press the button, this button will give a will basically short the wires and give a command, give a command to the barrier so the barrier will lower. So no Bluetooth is needed. And this is uh, this is a nice way to speed up integration with other systems that they don't that don't want to use gateways that don't want to use uh, Bluetooth connection. They just need a simple I/O controller, which which is readily on, which is available to them. And then you can they can connect an interface with how they like. I have the button now hooked up, so every every press will lower and uh, raise the barrier, like it will toggle. Also, it is possible to hook one button up to multiple barriers. So, you, if you want, let, let's say, want an emergency fe like an um, emergency feature for fire fire ex escapes or something like that, you can hook up all the barriers in parallel and have one button. And all the barriers on a press of the button, all the barriers should will lower. Mm -hmm. So it's like a fire alarm and it's a feature when it's needed. And uh, the number of use cases is like uh, very fairly large. Our main target was in, like Mirella will say later, our main target was EV charging stations that want to integrate it with their already existing computers inside. And uh, this use case of uh, fire safety exits and and such. So that is, uh, yeah, another feature is uh, you, what you need to know is that it will never like in the mobile app, when you press a button, it will never uh, close with a, with a vehicle on top, so it's not, it does not ever override that feature. And uh, that's it for my part and for the simple demo. And I think Mirella can take over from now with uh, the other news. Well, thank you, thank you, Josip. As you can see from the demonstration that was provided by Josip, we are talking about the feature that is making integration process a lot easier. 
and I think uh, it's more and much more cost effective. And I think this is the highlight and some of the advantages that we can mention regarding this I/O board. I'm sure you are asking yourselves what are the cases where we can use this particular product. For example, how you also said, uh, EV charging stations turned out to be a really good market for us regarding this particular product because they have necessity for the, for example, partial gateway, uh, which is crucial in integration projects so far. Uh, this IO board completely cuts off and makes it a shortcut. So you can you know, just use our AC model with IO board and with wires connected directly to the EV charging station. This then in the end provides our client with much more precise information about the current status of, uh, of the charging of their particular parking bay. It's providing you with a much better real-time uh, real time info about the status of the product and also in that way he's able to manage the parking lot much more efficiently. Also, maybe some other use cases which can be interesting for you are, for example, you can uh, integrate with uh, any type of access control product. So that can, for example, be RFID cards. Those can be QR codes. For example, the push buttons that we had mentioned over here, uh, it can be connected directly to the ANPR camera, uh, as uh, Joseph also said to you guys, and also with GSM modules or the timers, for example. So uh, I think the purpose of today's webinar was to introduce you to this innovative new product, uh, to delve into some technical details, to even show you how it actually works and uh, to demonstrate its capabilities. So our aim is to ensure that you are fully informed about this particular exciting feature and that you are well prepared for the successful uh, release in the market.